Hello, this is John Lee from Dashboard Dudes, and today I am answering some questions. Let's take a look at this unanswered one. This is from Zuku. It says, hello, I'm working with a large data set that needs some data imputation. I got some questions around it. I want to filter my data based on location, but a small amount of data sets have, uh, but a small amount of the data set is a null, has a null. Luckily, it's a sales order data, so there are some sales orders that have many orders to it, and some of them are lacking the location information. How can I impute the data based on the same sales order number? So that it's, it is in the case of location, it's null, it populates location data into an empty row. So that if there's empty row, it copies from the same sales order, but others that contain location already will just remain unchanged. Got it. Okay, we got a couple ways we could do this. So I have a fake data set that I use, dummy data. And what I did in here is I put some blanks in here. So check this out. If I if I get rid of my blanks, you could see I have different company A, B, C, D, and states and whatever. And we're going to pretend that th these companies are your sales orders, your sales order numbers. If I hit blank, oh, I got some that aren't there, right? Some nulls. So we got a couple ways we can do this. Couple ways we can do this. One is through Google Sheets. If you use the Google Sheets connector, you can do something like company, and I can call company A. This would be your sales order number. Company B. Company C, Company D, and I could put in a location for them. And I'm going to call that same location state for now. We're going to say Illinois, Illinois, Hawaii, uh, Alaska, and let's do New York. Cool. You can import this into Domo, and you could you could do what I'm going to do right now. That's one way to do it through Google Sheet. Another way is if you want to just move a little bit faster, you could use the web form. So I'm going to go type in web form over here. I went to data, hit cloud, and I got a web form. I'm going to paste that sucker in there right here. And we're going to call this uh, business. Sorry, this is my naming convention that I usually just do. Bear with me, dashboard dudes. Source, web form dummy blank locations, whatever. Cool. I'm going to say save and continue. Awesome. OK, so now what we can do is we can join this to our existing data sets. So let's go do that. Let's do an ETL right here. I'm going to bring in two of my data sets. I have dummy. I call them both dummy. Boom, I got one. I got the other guy right here. <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm going to join it. I'm going to do a join, a left join. If you are not familiar with joins, basically it's saying, what do I want to delete? What am I willing to delete? And I don't want to delete anything from my Google Sheet because that's my source of truth for everything. I just want to keep all that. I don't want to get rid of any single rows. And it's going to ask me, well, what am I joining on? Portfolio company is all we got. Cool. And I'm going to say auto fix, beautiful. OK, let me move my face out of the way. So if I go here, I'm only going to pick what we need, OK? Make our life easier. I'm going to say date, sure, portfolio company, which is the company in, in my other one. And let's pull state, and let's pull uh, company source state. We're going to call this state one, though, location. OK, whatever. Awesome. And now I'm going to write a formula. So I'm going to write a formula, and I'm going to call this uh, total location, whatever. And I'm going to write this. Case when the state, because that's what I'm picking. You know what? Let's, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run a quick preview because I want, I want you to see what's, what's happening. So give it a sec. OK, so I have the data that looks like this. A date, a company portfolio, which is your sales order, a state and location. And you could say these are my Alaska, Illinois, which are, uh, Illinois, Hawaii, all that stuff in there, right? OK, whatever. So now we're going to write this. Right? Hey, when state is null, which I don't think mine is null, I think it's actually just a blank. Let's go. Let's go take a look and see if I can even. Yeah, I think it's just a blank. So I'm going to say when that thing equals, 
this thing, two single quotes is a blink, then go give me my second value, which was location. Else, meaning otherwise, go grab me state again. And cool. And then we are done, so we connect all that stuff together. So I have state location, cool, whatever, make an output. I'm a big fan of naming the ETLs just like the output. So I'm going to do here, dashboard dudes, it's me. Uh, I'm blanking right now for some reason. Dashboard dudes, source is Google Sheets, comma, web form. And we're going to say dummy data uh, location total, whatever. Cool. Uh, there we go. Let's go kick it off. You could do that same formula in a card. You don't have to do it in the ETL. I'm just, just showing you, though. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> All right. Let's go see. Now if I go to data, let's go look for our ones where we had a blank here. There. Oh, because I put if it is blank. OK, we are going to write this formula a different way. Sorry. So I'm not sure if I put a blank or if it's null. We can do is blank. We could do a bunch of stuff. A better way to do it, honestly, just do this if it's not blank. Sometimes you just have to change the logic. So hey, if the state is not blank, then go give me the state again. Otherwise, else, go give me the location that we are we inserted. OK, now let's go run this sucker again. Let's go see. All right, let's go find out one more time data, state, blank. There we go. Your total location now says, hey, if if there is a, if state was blank, go get me location. Otherwise, go pull back state. So let's check it one more time. Location, Wyoming, Wyoming, Idaho, Idaho, Nebraska. Yep, everything works out. There you go. I hope it helps out. Good luck to you. And hey, if you want any more info, you could always check out dashboarddudes.com where I got a bunch of stuff under Dashboarding 101. Anyway, good luck to you.